<laughs> so, law of war. So, can somebody tell me in like simple terms what the purpose of the law of war is? So that when we kill each other, we do it in a civilized manner. We don't look like barbarians. So, the law of war is in place to protect us from looking like criminals, basically. We need the law of war to make sure that nothing comes back to bite us in the behind, all right? Every time we go to war and things happen while we're deployed, there's always a 15-6, there's always an investigation. When the investigation comes back, you want to make sure that your behind is covered. You need to follow the law of war so you do not get court martialed. Things get real when you do not follow the law of war. It is extremely serious. Military necessity basically means, did you need to do it? Unnecessary suffering. Did you do more than what was required of you? Discrimination or distinction. Did you just shoot somebody because they were in Iraq? Or they were from Afghanistan or whatever? And proportionality. Was it fair? Get it done as quick as possible and do what you need to do. Not what you want to do, but what you need to do. Collateral damage does not mean that you can use everything as an excuse. Oh, I only shot that up because I was trying to kill this guy, and so we just gonna say that's collateral damage. <laughs> Unnecessary suffering. Take the quickest route possible, all right? The least amount of, of freaking force that you need to use is what you need to use, all right? So when it comes to discrimination and you get down range, um, I worked in legal, so I did foreign claims. So I went outside the wire every week, and everybody <coughs> I saw looked like a threat to me, just because I was uneducated and I didn't know it. It was my first deployment. So every time I saw someone, I was basically afraid. Don't act out of fear. Never act out of fear. Act out of necessity. Proportionality. Loss of civilian life and damage to civilian property, collateral damage, must not be excessive in relation to the country and direct military advantage gained by an attack. Fight only combatants. That goes back to what I just said. You don't have to be combatant with everybody you come across. A lot of people may look like a threat to you, and like I said, you may want to react out of fear, but if you take a second and stop and think, you may say, okay, well, maybe if I just get my translator, which we always have, to ask this guy, you know, I, my, we have to remember a lot of times we sound like we're angry, and if you don't speak the same language, that language barrier can really be destructive to what you're trying to do. So if, if you're asking a guy, hey, get on the ground, he may hear that and think, I don't know what he's saying to me, but you got to remember, you're sitting there with an M16 and all this gear on, and that guy's probably scared as crap. So what you have to do is, you got to reassess every situation you seriously do, because if you don't, this guy may continue walking towards you, and you may be thinking, Oh my God, he's got a bomb on him, I'm going to kill him. And now your, your behind is going to end up in jail. So what you have to do is reassess every situation. You have to remember, if this guy didn't do, if he didn't touch you, or if he didn't do anything to physically harm you, or show you anything that could cause you physically harm, you got to reassess the situation. Everybody is not a combatant. Treat humanely all who surrender or are captured. If they surrender and they are on their knees, you do not hit them across the head with the barrel of your weapon. It's unnecessary. Do what you got to do, not what you want to do. Do not kill or torture detained personnel. Collect and care for the wounded. Do not attack protected persons and protected places. Collect and care for the wounded. I know that's a big one we have an issue with. A lot of people say, well, we're not on the same team, so why do I have to take care of them? I don't want to take care of them because we're not on the same team. Law of war. That's why you have to take care of them. It doesn't matter if you're on the same team or not. We have to treat everybody the same. If your battle buddy is bleeding and this guy is bleeding, both of them need to be taken care of. Destroy no more than the mission requires. Treat all civilians humanely. Respect private property and possession. Please respect private car property and possessions because we have to pay them. That's what claims is for. If you kill 40 goats, they're going to come to legal and tell legal that you killed 40 goats. And then there's going to be a 15 6 investigation. Then they're going to show me the pictures of 40 goats. And I've got to go out there and give these people all this money. And you've got to tell your commander why you killed the 40 goats. It's not target practice. Do what you need to do, not what you want to do. If they surrender and they are on their knees, you do not hit them across the head with the barrel of your weapon. It's unnecessary. Do what you got to do, not what you want to do. Do not kill or torture detained personnel. Collect and care for the wounded. Do not attack protected persons and protected places. Collect and care for the wounded. I know that's a big one we have an issue with. A lot of people say, well, we're not on the same team, so why do I have to take care of them? I don't want to take care of them because we're not on the same team. Law of war. That's why you have to take care of them. It doesn't matter if you're on the same team or not. We have to treat everybody the same. If your battle buddy is bleeding and this guy is bleeding, both of them need to be taken care of. Destroy no more than the mission requires. Treat all civilians humanely. Respect private property and possession. Please respect private car property and possessions because we have to pay them. That's what claims is for. If you kill 40 goats, 
they're going to come to legal and tell legal that you killed 40 goats. And then there's going to be a 15 6th investigation. Then they're going to show me the pictures of the 40 goats. And I got to go out there and give these people all this money. And you got to tell your commander why you killed the 40 goats. It's not target practice. Do what you need to do, not what you want to do. The five S's and T. Search, segregate, silence, feed, safeguard, tag. So, do we know what, can somebody name some protected places? Okay, what else we got? Hospital. Okay, you guys know this stuff. Respect private property and possessions, please. Do not steal. It's cool to have stuff that you got while you were deployed. Everybody, every time we go somewhere, we want to have something we can take back and show our families. You cannot do that. If you are found with something that you should not have, it's going to be a 15-6, it's going to be an investigation, and you are going what? Down, my friend. You're going down. <laughs> that goes back to what I said. If you do not report law of war violations, you and your buddy are going what? Down. 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 That's right. <laughs> because you are just as guilty as they are. We are all soldiers. That's my turn.